guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Wednesday, February 9th, and it's currently 5.28 p.m., and I have four babies here. I wanted to make a quick video on all the babies that I have for sale, give you guys a little bit more information on them. And this video is relatively going to be kind of quick. I mean, I've been posting about Scarlett for almost a year now, Claudia almost about five months, um, Blinklin and Sweet Pea are both brand new. I just finished Sweet Pea a few days ago. I still have to do the glossing. The stuff came for the glossing. I just didn't do it. But I'll do it before the weekend is up or before the weekend gets here. And then Blinklin, um, I did not, you guys are probably like, who's Blinklin? Sorry. For those of you who are new, this is, a uh, Blinklin. Okay. This is Roborn Claudia, painted and rooted by me. Uh, born September 25th, 2021. This is Sweet Pea, painted by me. Born, uh, February, February 5th, 2022. Still have to do a few things on him. This is Baby Blinklin from Bountiful Baby. All of her kids are from Bountiful Baby. All of them. She's the only real born. The rest are just regular kids. But this is Blinklin. Not created by me. Um, so when I was painting this baby, I bought this baby in uh, January. I want to say it was the second week of January. I've holded her twice and I changed her twice. But now I hold her three times because I'm making this video. And then here is Scarlet painted and rooted by me. She was born, like I said, I believe last year, March or April. I'm leaning towards, I believe it was March. All babies are for sale. All babies are budget slash boo-boo babies, so they do have flaws. All babies are under $300 free shipping within the U.S. Have to be 16 and up to buy. If you're younger than 16, please do not contact me. If you're seriously interested, have your guardian, your parent, someone else that's above 16 years of age to contact me. I accept PayPal only. No refunds, no exchanges, no returns. Alright, so all of these babies, I try to go for an African American skin tone or a biracial skin tone. Again, this one right here is not painted by me. So, they kind of look like the order from like the darkest to the lightest, but I promise that's not what I was doing. <laughs> they just look really cute like this, but um, well, like those two are sleeping, those two are awake. I didn't even notice it until now. I was going for small baby, big baby, small baby, big baby. But now that I look at it, like, these, they, like, pair up, like, perfectly. Like, brother and sister, sister and sister, or brother and sister, you know, whatever, if you want to make the baby, whatever gender. Anywho. Let's start right here, which is ugh, the shadows. Not the shadows, but... <laughs> This is Claudia. This is Roborn Claudia. Uh, she is a second kit. Her price does reflect in that. If you guys know what a second kit is, it means that it does not did not pass the first inspection, but it was still good enough for them to sell it. Um, no major flaws. You guys can watch her kit box opening. Second kits do not come with a certificate of authenticity, but I bought all of these babies directly from. Bountiful baby, except again the one that I did not paint. All babies are authentic. I only shop authentic, even with myself. I don't go and buy knockoff Nike. I don't go off and buy knockoff Reborns. So, with that being said, none of these babies come with a COA. Reborns are, I believe they're the only babies on Bountiful Baby that come with a COA, except for the seconds kit. So, you know, when I see posts like, oh yeah, my baby didn't come with a COA, is she a scam? And the baby is like, and really old bountiful baby baby like kitten or someone I'm like I don't know where I I don't know where I was going with that I apologize but I apologize for the dog barking the dog always barks like crazy but it don't really bother me to be honest um but it might bother some of you guys so I do apologize sorry for the shadows as well okay anyways this is Roborn Claudia she is painted in an african-american skin tone color she has eyebrows she has lashes and she has rooted black hair this is mohair by the way not human hair 
She is a large preemie small newborn. Full limbs, so full arms, full legs. She can wear like little dresses. She had this dress on and you couldn't even see her cloth. It was so cute. She has veining. I don't really know what else to say about her. She's on a 17 inch body. Technically she's supposed to be 18 inches, but I put her on a 17 inch body. Her head is super floppy. She is weighted with glass beads. Properly weighted. So little leggies. Uh, this onesie is a size newborn and uh, it came sh directly from like it's brand new so it's a little big but if you wash it it'll fit but I like how it looks on her. These pants are a size 0 to 3 months so they are a tad bit long but here are her leggies she has veining like I said. Her feet are my most favorite thing. I was trying to get this little guy next to her sweet pea I was trying to get his feet like hers. She has to be probably the most cuddliest baby ever. I love the way she just flops and proportioned. Like, I love how I weighted her. I, wait, I feel like I weighted her really, really good because everything is, like, proportioned. And she just flops, like, right into your arms. It did. Yeah. Here are the bottom of her feet. Let me focus, you guys. Hold on, guys. I apologize for the lighting, but yeah, here are her feet. I love her feet. Oh, uh, you can't really see them. And then she have uh, a little beauty mark right there, and then she also has two beauty marks on her face, and she has a scratch. So I know she looks a little rough right now, but beauty mark, scratch, beauty mark. Our hair is getting messed up with all this playing. <laughs> um. But I'm not making videos with these babies. They are on display as well as my other babies. And the babies that have the rooted hair have a bag over their head. Their hair. A plastic baggie just so that their hair doesn't get messed up or fall out or anything. Even though their hair is sealed. But you know over time. Even though she's pretty brand new. I lost her other sock. I felt it. She was laying on it. Look at her hair. It's crazy. She was the third baby I rooted. So her hair is not perfect at all. Again, these babies are not perfect. So if you're looking for a perfect baby, I don't expect you to find one here or one that's less than $300. Last thing about Claudia is she does have a magnet for a pacifier. All right. She can come on as a boy or a girl. All of my information will be linked below in the description if anyone's seriously interested. Don't hesitate to ask. Um, I think I got all of her information done. Except for pricing. If you want pricing, then just let me know. Um, and you're not a time... Let me just say this. You're not a time waster by asking me for more pictures. You're not a time waster by asking me for more... Oh, I just said that. <laughs> you're not a time waster by um, asking me the price. You're not a time waster by asking me when I would be able to ship the baby out. I don't consider those time wasters. I used to, but then I realized that it's not really a time waster. The baby just isn't for you, which is fine. Because I wouldn't want you to buy a baby that you didn't like or that you were going to regret later. However, you say, okay, I'm going to pay you later today and you never pay. And you just keep saying you're going to pay this, you're going to pay then. And you just keep messaging me about like the same baby after you already failed to pay the first time. Like say you messaged me today about buying a baby. You're like, okay, I'm going to pay on Saturday. Saturday comes, I hear nothing from you. Then like two weeks later, you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to pay then. That's what I consider time waster, and I tend to stop responding back. Again, I do apologize for the shadows. But next we have Sweet Pea. Um, this baby was sculpted by Laura Lee Eagles, one of my favorite sculptors. Initially, I went in wanting to create a budget baby. I had bought four kits, and I was like, I, I'm going to make one of them a budget baby, and it ended up being this baby right here. So with that being said, this baby is a budget baby. This baby next to her is so cute but he is a budget baby um some things that make him a budget baby is he is not weighted he's weighted with only polyfill and he does have glass beads but only in his hands and then the bottom of his feet so he's not weighted properly but i can i can weigh him properly for an additional small fee but yeah up until here the glass beads stop up until here they stop and then the rest is stuff with polyfill that way he can be on the more affordable side. He is, however, put together. 
He's stuffed with polyfill. He does not have a magnet for a pacifier. Again, I can add one for a uh, small fee. Um, he does not have hair. I can root hair for another fee. But otherwise than that, he is sealed and everything. He is getting glossed before the weekend is up. So that's him. He has three-fourth limbs. So he has three-fourth arms and three-fourth legs. Uh, he has two scratches right here. Well, one right there, one right there. I love the scratches. He has a scratch on his knee. I just did a video of me changing him into this outfit, which you guys can see more of his details. Well, I didn't really even do a good job at that, but yeah, that's him. And then next we have, oh, all of my babies are painted with Genesis heat set paint, sealed and varnished. Next we have Blinklin. This baby is not painted by me. I have only one video of her as well as one video of Tegan. Actually two because I did a comparison video that'll be out before this one. But um, Blinkling was not painted by me. Again, I just received her about, I want to say a month ago. If not about to be a month. I have probably picked her up the times that I recorded. So like three or four times because I recorded her for my membership. They got a chance to see her first. She is a full vinyl baby. A lot of you guys might not know that because you guys are, may not be familiar with this kit. But this kit, Nod by Bountiful Baby, they're all full vinyl, which means they do have girl bits. If you guys do not want that, that is fine. This baby is just not for you. She's not painted with Genesis, Genesis Heat Set Paint. She does feel weighted. I feel um, beads in here. I don't know if they're glass beads, but I feel um, they might be the poly pellets. Um, she is considered a boo-boo baby by her artist and me as well. She has painted black hair. She doesn't have a magnet for a passy or for a hair bow. She has brown eyes and she has eyelashes. Her lips are glossed. She does not have her ears pierced. None of these babies have their ears pierced. Again, she is full vinyl, so she does have girl bits. Um, you could make her a boy because no one's going to see down there anyways. But if not, then she's a girl. So that's her. She moves really nicely. And so she's great for posing. I had fun taking her pictures. She is the only baby that's in the hundreds. I'm only asking about a hundred something for her. The rest of the babies are in the two hundreds. So she's the cheapest baby. Claudia is the most expensive baby. This is Claudia. Last but not least, we have Scarlett, who I've been trying to sell for a whole almost, almost, I was going to say a whole year, but almost a year. Scarlett here is Scarlett by Cindy Musgrove, painted, rooted by me, um, first baby I ever rooted, third baby I ever painted, she's not perfect. Perfect budget baby, starter baby, yes. Perfect baby for someone just starting in the community, yes. Perfect baby for someone who loves great deals on babies. Yes, perfect baby as a present for someone's birthday or an event that's coming up. Yes, perfect baby for someone that's about 16, 14. Yes, I don't recommend the reborns for anybody under, under the age of like 13, but it's your doll. You can do whatever you want. So here is Scarlett. I have tons of videos out on her. She's the most I have videos out on just for the simple fact that she I had her the longest again besides for me recording videos and taking pictures I do not play or hold or touch any of these babies I barely hold and touch any of mine off of camera she has three-fourth limbs so three-fourth arms three-fourth legs just like Tegan and um she wears zero to three three month size clothing sorry guys Blinklin wears preemie newborn. Tegan wears 0 3, 3 month. And then I think I told you guys Claudia wears newborn. But she can't fit a large preemie. Um, so this is her. She has brown eyes. But yeah, that is Scarlett. She has brown wavy hair. Again, it's not perfect as you guys can see. This is my first baby I rooted. If you keep her hair style like this, like with some water and style it down, you can't really tell. And with a headband as well or a hat if you make her a boy. So that's her. She has uh, modeling, creasing, veins, and blushing. Tip nails. 
both of her hands are open. I love her hands. So cute. She is weighted properly. She has glass beads. She's stuffed with polyfill. And, um, yeah. She's 22 inches. Blinklin is 16 to 17 inches. Tegan is 23 inches. And Claudia here is 17 inches. So I believe I gave you guys all of the information on each of the babies. Alright, so I think I went over everything. I'm sorry if the video was blurry or um about the bad lighting. That's always bad lighting here. <laughs> the babies will not come with a full out box opening. I will try to include, you know, some additional stuff. I have picked up some stuff for box opening. So the baby will still come with a nice box opening, but it won't be coming with like 10 pairs of outfits or anything like that. The babies can go home as any gender you want, including Blinklin. If you want her as a boy, she can go home as a boy. She's probably the only one who won't be coming with a lot of stuff. I just don't have a lot of newborn girl stuff because I had some stuff picked out for Claudia. But I might, when I bought Claudia stuff to go home with, there might be something extra that I can throw in with Blinklin. Now, um, I don't think I have anything else to say or to talk about they all have an official for sale video if you just grow down on my page for scarlet's she has like six claudia has about like three <laughs> blinklin has one sweet pea has one they are listed on mercari but the fees on there ha um, makes me list them for more money so i say just go directly through me that's the better deal honestly but if you feel more safe on mercari that's fine I can put Tegan, not Tegan. I, did I call this baby Tegan the whole time? Sorry, guys. He reminds me of the Tegan kit, which I've said, but he's the sweet pea kit, not the Tegan. I want the Tegan kit so bad. Oh, this baby also has like a, a slightly open mouth. So it could probably fit. No, nah, I don't think a cut passy would fit in that mouth. Never mind. But, um, <laughs> yeah, sorry if I call that baby Tegan, but that's sweet pea. I can list sweet pea on reborns.com later this week once I'm done with all the glossing. If you guys want a secure way. I have many, many references. I've sold many, many babies. A lot, actually. <laughs> I have box packing videos in a playlist on my channel. If you guys want to see how I do the box packings. I have some extravagant ones and then some that are not too much. But still overall, really nice. A lot of them are old. Well, no. Yeah. I haven't sold a baby since 2020, so. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well the giveaway baby she was in 2021 but okay i'm just rambling now so that is it for this video if you have any questions comment them down below all of my information is down below to contact me serious inquiries only please guys and i don't say this to be rude it's just i get a lot of time wasters and then uh, when people say they're gonna buy the baby and they don't it just gets my hopes up and so i don't really want to go through that so, serious buyers only. Help me sell these babies. Oh my gosh, I forgot. This is the main thing. Oh my gosh, this video is so long, so I hope you guys made it until here. I'll make a deal with you guys. I'll make a deal. If I can get three of these babies sold, I don't care which three. It could be these three. It could be these three. It could be these three. I don't care. If I can get three of these babies sold, three out of the four sold before May 1st, I will do the reborn giveaway early. I was going to do it at 3,000 subscribers, but then I realized that, like, my channel isn't doing good. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to even turn that on. That's the third time it came off. I was like, my channel's not doing too good, so I'm just probably going to push it back to 3,500 or 4,000 subscribers. Give away a free reborn baby doll, by the way. But I was like, why not do this? So if I can get three out of the four babies sold before May 1st, I will do the giveaway at 2,700 subscribers. I will give away a free reborn baby down. I'll pay for shipping in the U.S. Is that a deal? Because I've been trying to do deals and specials with you guys to get these babies sold and nothing has caught you guys' attention. Nothing has worked. All right. I hope, I hope that's something. I don't know. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video though guys because it's already so long and I really only wanted like 5 minutes to be honest. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at my underscore reborns. I am on reborns.com under Melanated Bay Bays. And I do have a membership if anybody wants to join for exclusive content. You do have to be 18 years old to join. Um, that's just a rule for YouTube. 
Everything that I stated is linked in the description below. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want, including video requests. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.